All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You got you have a C4, right? All right, guys, welcome back. I'm not sure if this is going to be a start of an episode or what, but uh, everybody else is napping, you know? <laughs> we've been... Uh, now it's just Bam and I. We've been uh, running a pretty long session here. And uh, we have... I had that one C4 left from that main raid. And Bam crafted up a second one. And I guess we're just going to go and check out see what's inside this shack here. So I figured I might as well, you know, get things recording. Nice little haul out of here. That's pretty nice. What'd we get? What'd you get from the middle box? Well, I don't know. I got uh, uh, a P250 blueprint, which I already have. No weapons. Nah, nah. 17 shotgun shells. You might as well murder his ass, see what he's got. Hello, daddy. <laughs> I've become a, 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 I have officially become an ass bandit. God damn it! I'm stealing circles from the fire. Unbelievable. I do love a good torch. Give it here. You're done over there with the uh, with the sleeping bag. Come on over and help me with this wood door. I wish I'd known. I would have brought the pickaxe. It made things much easier. So what did you grab off of him? Anything good? I can barely hear you. You sound really distant. Probably just your mic. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I found a bunch of materials, uh, crafting stuff. Did you get any guns? No guns, no guns. Same here, though. Uh, what did some stuff. the middle box? Um, well, a few metal fragments, not much though. The only thing that, well, I got 17 shotgun shells. What was I, in the middle box, do you remember? Well, I mean, I've got, uh, I'm sitting here with a P250 blueprint that y I'll just give to you. You can throw it in your box somewhere. I don't need it. Give it to somebody who needs it in the, uh, in the resistance, right? I got, uh, what else did I get? A little bit of wood, just a bit, a little bit of resources, some sulfur. A sleeping bag, 17 shotgun shells, some radi uh, anti anti radiation pills. You know, a few rounds. That's about it, though. Some chicken. Yeah. 
quick score. Yeah. I want. Hopefully, there's more in here. Swing is slow. <laughs> For a hatchet, it seems really slow. Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, well. That must have been the starter shack, and he moved, graduated up to this, this sucker right here. <laughs> put a door on it that's awesome I love that I never even thought of doing stuff like that yeah it's a nice way to keep it quiet if you got to go through a few walls people can't get in behind you so I've been in bases blowing it up and dudes didn't even know I was in there till it was too late but the other thing is now we have kind of per it's uh becomes our joint as well you know well this one it, this one does anyway Sort of. Now I guess we still have the uh, the metal door to deal with, don't we? Yeah, but we could blow that apart. Then it'd be ours. All right, here, take this. Take this here. You might as well th just throw that in a crate and give it to somebody who needs it. All right. Now, if I steal his his sleeping bag and then drop it, that doesn't create a spawn point for him, does it? That would be really bad. No, it's yours. Okay, okay. It only counts uh, for the person placing it. Uh, yeah. Because you took it out of his box, it's yours, man. Alright. I just wanted to make sure before I gave him access to the goddamn house. Alright guys, here's the scenario coming back here. I just respawned. I did a little battle in the stairwell. Unfortunately, I was recording the comm. Uh, wasn't actually recording the video. Goddamn. So it was, I just got in here, you know. And uh, Bam had given me warning that, uh, you know what, the, the base was under assault. Under attack. There are several hostiles. Uh, as far as I can tell, there are a few hostiles in this stairwell here right now. I spawned in one of my lower spawn points. Uh, with all the gear in my room, came out with the shotgun, put down one guy, got gunned down in the back by a second. You can see this flashlight flashing a little bit. There's still a guy in here somewhere. Um, now, I do have an apartment, uh, you know, about three or four levels down this stairwell, but I don't know if I can get to it, you know. I don't know what kind of opposition is in there. I'm just riding it out for a few minutes so that hopefully when I come back, I'll spawn in the lower room, you know, where I want to be. And hopefully reinforcements are arriving. Kind of keeping an eye on things, peeking out the cracks here. At this point, I, there's not much I can do. We got all kinds of activity. We've been, we were getting griefed earlier today by these guys dropping cabins outside our, our goddamn base, right at our doors. You know, I don't know if these are the same guys.
Okay, there's some scrapping going on. Oh, I can't open the door. They they came in here. They fucking. This is a new door. Can't actually open it. So they actually took this down. I'm gonna have to suicide. No, nope, still spawning up here. I'm gonna have to get. Oh, I guess I could just pick it up, right? Okay, there we go. Now I won't spawn back. Up here. Oh, here we go. Boy, get back here. I thought that was you, boy. There's only one guy in here, Bam. There's only one guy in here with a shotgun. You guys come in strong, you'll put him down, and he'll be done. He'll be done. Okay, guys. Just kind of waiting for the the assault to come on in. Unfortunately, I left that lower apartment door open. Yo, bam, just lob some grenades in there, man. He's right on the lower level. He's in my apartment. Yeah, you just know how base works. I can't do that right away. I better, <laughs> better drop that again. I thought the door was locked on me, you know. For some reason it wouldn't open there a little a little while ago. Okay, we've also got uh, we've got Goochman on the secondary oh, room. Oh boy, get back here and opening that door. Open that door, boy, right now. Boy, I don't want to chase you. Just get back over here. Boy, get down here right now. He's in the stairwell. He's not in the apartment right now. Yeah, He's come here. Come here. Open this door and I won't shoot you, okay, dude? I ain't open gonna the door, fucking open the, the door for you, man. You came in here, you're stuck in here. You can starve, as far as I'm concerned. Dude, we'll just blow it up anyway. I don't yeah, care. we'll blow it up then. Do it. Blow it up. We got reinforcements on the way as well, so. Open it up. Dude. If you open it up and I leave, you guys can go out and get stuff. Until then, you guys are stuck here the same as me. No, you're just gonna be back in five minutes, right? Dude, I have 3,000 food on me and 17 food. Nah, you're a fucking liar and you're staying in the fucking stairwell. Oh, you shouldn't have trapped me in here, because you're stuck too.
Okay, now I'm back at the secondary house. Which is good. I needed to get out of there. Uh, so that I can actually get into the other portion and, and actually get myself a weapon, you know? What the uh, the unfortunate thing is, is that my door opened. You know, the, the fucker got lucky enough to put me down just as I had opened the door the third time, you know, or the second time. Trying to get back in. And, uh... I have a, a whole lot of food in there. You know, he could ride it out, you know. He has... The, the materials are in there. He could craft a goddamn sleeping bag in there, you know. The, the cloth. Everything is available. I've got so much crap in there that, uh... Well, he, he's, he's set now. I've completely fucked this, you know. It's a matter of having to wait him out at this point. 